Good afternoon, friends. Uh, welcome to the mid-market update from the advisory desk. Uh, firstly, the market opened on a very flat note. Uh, Sensex down by almost about 12 points and Nifty about 2-3 couple of points down. Uh, now, it was a lackluster since about uh, till uh, 11 o'clock and then the market started to take an upswing. Uh, it was trading down by almost 40 odd points on the Sensex. But right now, as you can see that the market is almost up by 160 points uh, led by the financials again like HDFC and HDFC Bank. Uh, we have State Bank of India. Uh, those stocks are up by anywhere between around 3% and 3.5% each. Uh, we also seeing kind of some bounce uh, in some metal stocks like Hindalco as well as JSW Steel which have been doing reasonably well compared to other metal stocks like Sterlite and Tata Steel. Uh, Tata Steel is a stock uh, that is a big underperformer in the metal spec. Uh, not much kind of uh, positive outcome seen in the results as well as uh, after on that about it. Friends, we have a couple of kind of stock updates. Uh, mid, mid cap index is outperforming today, uh, led by good gains in Bank of Maharashtra. We have Bayer Crop, M&M Financial. We have Indian Infotech, uh, which are amongst the notable gainers. Uh, However, we have uh, certain Educom stocks and uh, Opto circuits uh, down about 5%. Uh, then there's the future retail. Uh, there's a new announcement on that uh, from the government side that the foreign investors would be only allowed uh, kind of uh, to invest in a new supply infrastructure and not in the existing one. So that will affect uh, the uh, kind of uh, expansion plan or for the future retail. And that stock is down almost about 3.5%. RPG Life Sciences is again uh, jumped by 10% again uh, as the company has sold parts of it landed Navi Mumbai uh, to Maruti Suzuki. So that's again a good uh, kind of uh, bonus for the company as it holds a lot of uh, resold rights land in that area. There was a block deal in Adani. Uh, 3.1 crores uh, shares were exchanged uh, in the morning at around 9.20. So, kind of uh, those, uh, that's the company where they need to bring down uh, the shareholding pattern among the promoters, uh, which has been listed by the SEBI under 75%. Uh, friends, rupee is again weak at 56.90, almost 57 to the US dollar. Uh, this is again a kind of a big threat uh, to the Indian uh, companies as well as the Indian economy that will kind of have a pressure on the CAD, that is uh, current account deficit. Uh, in the gold import duty has been raised to 8% from 6%. Uh, that too is not deterring uh, the buyers from uh, kind of buying gold. Uh, uh, globally, markets are doing good. Uh, US markets Dow Jones ended up by 80 points. Uh, after a three-day losing streak. Uh, so that's all uh, the news and updates we have uh, till mid-market. We'll get back to you more in post-market. Thanks.